you know, medicine now is the, is the wedge into our psychedelic future because as alternative medicine was the wedge for holistic medicine, like uh, starting in the 1980s and 90s, and now psychedelic medicine is going to come, the, 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 the spear is, the warrior spear is through the vets, right? Because, <laughs> because vets know a reality that most of us don't know and are so damaged by it. And then to be healed or to start a healing journey, it's not like you drink ayahuasca, you get healed. You know, that's, that's ridiculous. That's not how it works. It takes years to fully free yourself of fear and grief and depression and anxiety, years. But uh, that's why many of the churches do ceremonies every two weeks. The Santo Daime, I think, is at every two weeks. Unio de Vegetal Church, too, every two weeks. And, and there's even, a, I think, a good pharmacological reason for why that is. I think, I think the neurochemical effects linger for about two weeks. The effects on the mind are permanent. You know, once you have a psychedelic experience, you never forget that. Even though the, chem the neurochemistry that was associated with producing that is long gone, right? And then I also, I think some of the constituents in ayahuasca vine are going to end up being treatments for Parkinson's disease. It's a very good monoamine oxidase inhibitor, which was really useful for certain degenerative brain diseases. So there'll be a, there's, the vine is a fascinating creature. <laughs>